Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy, and I'm in my pantry. The video isn't about my pantry. I'm in my pantry because I have to hide from the chickens. The neighbor next door has God knows how many chickens, and they won't stop. They're trying to be crazy. They just need to stop. They don't all day long, all day, all night. They won't shut up. I got nothing against chickens and roosters, but this is crazy. So, at the end of the day, chickens are going to be my special guest. They're just always going to be in the background. Nothing I can do about it. I've tried everything. So, with that being said, the video is about organizing my kitchen drawer. It's my kitchen gadget drawer. It's a deep drawer that I'm trying to organize because it's a hot mess. Like them daggone chickens out there. Okay? And so... I was going to buy wooden dividers, but I decided that that's just going to be a divided mess. It's not really going to help with my clutter and my organization. So, I was thinking maybe some plastic um, see-through bins would be, you know, the way to go. Just use them and stack them and, and see if I can fit them in a drawer to uh, work the way that I want them to work, right? So, I'm sorry, this is the chicken distraction. But anyways. So I'm going to go head over to Marshall's and see what I can find. And let's see. Let's see me organize this drawer before I go strangle the chickens. Heading to Marshall's to see what I can find in terms of bins. Here we are at the bins department. Let's see if I can find something I can use for what I want. Hmm, huge selection. Let's see if I get lucky. So this is the kitchen drawer that I want to organize. Yes, I am and proud to say I am a kitchen gadget hoarder. I love my kitchen gadgets. And yes, I do use each and every single one of them. Yes, I do. But you can see that this drawer is deep and that means I have a lot of gadgets in there. And so I wanted to organize it and I decided... To use bins to do it and so I went to Marshall's and I picked up these bins um, I got two of these I actually measured out the drawer before I picked up the bin so I got two of these and these were reasonably priced they really were a good price they were $9.99 a piece so I got two of those and my idea is to you know have one in front of the other like so and I picked up these these Beano ones I really liked and this was a great price these were $5.99 a piece and so my little idea is to have you know these two sit on top of the uh, ones at the bottom so that way I can kind of organize my kitchen gadgets according to you know what I don't know what 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 they are and so that way it'll make it easier for me to see because once you get in that drawer, trying to rummage through it, you know, I try to keep it organized. But, of course, when I get to cooking and I need something from there, I'll rummage through it and I never organize it back. And so this is what I end up with. So to kind of alleviate, you know, the stress of it all, um, I figured let me do this and organize it and see exactly, you know, how I like the organ. I think it's going to work out pretty good. So, so let's see how this is going to work out. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> empty out uh, my drawer here and um, let's see what happens. So here are all of my gadgets. I kind of put them in the order that I thought, you know, made sense to me and how often I use one versus the other. I know, crazy, huh? I might edit some things because I know that I'm going to have a drawer made to fit underneath my island to house some things uh, that just makes it easier for me when I cook. But this is it. Let's see if I can manage to fit all of this into these bins. Wish me luck. So here I have my drawer all organized. This is what I came up with. This is what makes sense to me. And I'm pretty pleased with it. So, let me show you. This is where I kept my little tray for my bacon. Cute in there. Then I have this. So these two trays I separated by things that I use uh, for baking and things uh, that I use for um, juicing lemons, limes, oranges, 
um, my can opener, my meat tenderizer. It just works for me because I really use these things on a regular basis. And so I could just pull these out. And then this is what the drawer looks like at the bottom. See, I measured pretty darn good. I have these items that I use on occasion, but not all the time, but I like having them uh, ready. And here we go again. Some of these are duplicates because um, I'm kind of heavy handed with some of my things, so they tend to break. <laughs> but I just fit this right in there like so. If I wanted to pull something out, I could. I can see everything and I don't have to go rummaging through everything like I did how I had it before. And this just fits back there like so. Isn't that cool? It works. I'm liking it. And then we just close that up. And then this is what I edited out of the drawer. Yeah. Some of these things I don't understand why I even purchased them. Because what the hell is this? Like... What avocado can you fit there? None that grow in Puerto Rico, that's for sure. Like, what possessed me to buy this dumb little gadget here? This, look at this. It's hard to uh, film with one hand, but look at that. They don't even sell, like, Mexican Haas avocados here. It's very hard to find them, and if you do, they want, like, $5 for the avocado. I don't think so, but look at that. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't, I don't know. Somebody could have stopped me with that one. These skewers and chopsticks, I'll put them in my pantry. These knives, I hide because they scare the crap out of me. Look at the size of those knives. They really freak me out. I don't use them because they just, I don't know, they're too big. And this, I don't know why I bought this. Um, it's a measuring cup, but it's really hard to see if you are measuring the things correctly because it's silicone and of course, like, I don't know. It was probably 50 cents at Marshalls and I had to get it because I don't know why. I'll take it out of my drawer. I'll actually put it with my um, arts and crafts stuff. I'm sure it'll come in handy uh, when I'm painting or, or using polyurethane and I need something like this just to, you know, that's a good idea. It's easy to clean. So that's what I'll do with that one. This, I'm definitely getting rid of it. I, I don't know what the hell. Um, these are from my eggy little collection that I started many, many moons ago with my mom. I forgot what this was for, so I'm going to have to look it up. I have no idea if any one of you who collected these eggies at one point know what this is for. Let me know in the comments because I have no idea. I forgot. And of course, these are cute. These are measuring cups, and I bought this. Did I buy it? I think someone gifted this to me, and I, it's so adorable. I love it. I will never get rid of it. Um, and then, of course, these. You can never have enough of these. So I'll just put that in my drawer um, that we're going to make for the island. But that's what I edited out of the drawer, which I think is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, this is what happens when you watch... Um, the home edit on Netflix. Yeah, she inspires me. And so, I don't know, I may share some more videos about um, organization around the house because I'm really into it being spring and, and, you know, this is the time where everybody really starts just getting rid of stuff and organizing and cleaning up. So, let's see. So, I really like how the drawer turns out. I think that's really going to help me keep that drawer really organized. So, there you have it, right? The organized drawer and the rooster and chicken rent. And now I think I can hear my dog barking at the neighbor's chicken. What can you do? It's a wonderful life, right? You take it as it comes. So, as always, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And God bless. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.